Okay, hi everybody. I'm going to um, show how to use ChatGPT to generate multiple choice questions. So I'm going to go and uh, open up ChatGPT, which is here, which people are familiar with. Um, and then I'm going to go to this open education resource where I've written one of the chapters um, for an introduction to criminology. And it's a good passage to copy and paste because it's only the beginning of that, um, of that chapter. And it's, um, it's just a few paragraphs. So there, I'll just kind of cover that. I'm going to go back in and then I will say in the chat GPT window, I will say, please write three multiple choice questions and answers. Please provide an explanation for each answer. Here is the text. And then I just paste it in, and then I hit enter. And depending on how loaded or overloaded the, uh, the server is, uh, it starts writing the questions. Okay, so that's not exactly what I wanted um, because it's not creating um, a list of, of a multiple choice. But that's a good example of how sometimes, depending on your prompt, uh, ChatGPT doesn't do exactly what you want. So let's try again. I'm going to say, please write three multiple choice questions and answers based on the following text. Maybe it prefers that freely. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, so that's closer, I think, to what I was hoping to share. So um, it it's actually writing multiple choice questions, and then it's giving you the answer underneath. So it's for, for the case of the text that I pasted in, which is about race and racism. It says, what's the main idea of the text? Number one, A, race is a natural category, B, race is social construct, so on and so forth. And then it tells you the answer, race is a social construct. Uh, there you go. So there you go. So there's an example of how to use ChatGPT to generate uh, multiple choice questions. You can also say, those were too easy and can you make them more tricky? And yeah, sure. Here's three more difficult multiple multiple choice questions based on that. So it's it doesn't see that as difficult. And you can keep talking to it and asking and reiterating and changing the prompt and uh, engineering the prompt better to um, get what you want. So that's very easy, as you can see to write multiple choice questions. And they're quite exact. The grammar and the diction is quite good. And um, if you read and if you try it for yourself, you'll see that um, this, the, the questions are quite strong. 